We're in Chiang Mai. <laughs> uh, this is our ooh, second day, I think. Second full day, technically. Um, that uh, bus trip from Udantani <laughs> to here, Chiang Mai, was yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad, but um, we definitely didn't get near enough sleep, um, mm. and it did it did to be honest wreck our bodies a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, we you got doms from the gym, and then you've got uh, no sleep and very awkward sleeping positions. So yeah, it um, took it out of us quite a bit actually. So we've had a a day or two to try and recover. Had a massage here, which was great. Mm, yeah, it was really good. And um, now we are walking from our hotel, which is the Udi Cozy Hotel. I'll put it up on screen where it is. We're just a little bit outside of Old Town and we're gonna be heading in to just go for a walk around, check out some of the uh, temples because there are, I know I keep mentioning it, but we're talking about temples, you know, Nongkai and Udantani and there's, there's a few, there's, well, there's heaps but uh, Chiang Mai takes it to another level. And uh, as a result, the, the old town and the surrounding areas are absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty amazing, the uh, architecture and the scenery around here. But yeah. I digress. We're gonna walk into old town and have a look around. Just take you with us and yeah, show you the sights and show you how beautiful it really is. As you'll see, not all parts of Chiang Mai, but uh, a decent amount don't really have footpaths and the roads, they're not too narrow, but uh, with traffic on either side, cars parked and also pedestrians can get a bit, um, a bit congested, even if it's this early in the morning. So yeah, just uh, best to keep your head on a hard swivel and uh, be aware of your surroundings because you could easily get cleaned up. But uh, at the same time, people aren't really driving like maniacs here, which is great. Not like uh, Bangkok and Pattaya and such, so feels feels a bit safer, but still uh, one false step and you could quite easily do yourself a mischief. All right, case in point, nearly cleaned up by a scooter coming out of a side alley. Just <laughs> looking at those houses. There's, um, there's a few of them around Chiang Mai, and it's to us it's quite amazing that uh, such a small area, well we're in Old Town, so it's not a very big area, and apparently Old Town's just a Farang term, so you know. But those houses, they're so large, got big ass gardens on them, and uh, yeah, they're just in the middle of Old Town, scattered through, so it's just surprising with uh, the limited amount of space available here, that they would, um, still be there. And just when you hear us talking about Old Town as well, if you have a look on a map of Chiang Mai, you'll see there's like a very prominent square. Um, that is the Old Town Chiang Mai. So it's basically the old city that used to be like kind of fortified um, and it's got like a moat and everything. That's what Old Town is, that square. Um, so anything outside of that is, um, I guess, New Town, Chiang Mai. I'll put it up on screen so you can see exactly what Old Town encompasses. Mm. But yeah, it's not a particularly large area, so it's really, really walkable. Yep. And if you stay close to it or inside of it, yeah, it's great. You don't need a scooter. There are song towers running around. Yeah. We don't know the exact routes, but there is one that uh, goes around the whole outside of Old Town. On yeah. The inside of the moat. I had one that goes in Old Town. I had a look this morning at the um, the route. So there's different coloured Song Tao in Chiang Mai. Mm. Um, and they're different, they take you to different areas depending on what colour the Song Tao is. Yeah, and they sat on the side of them 30 baht each. So mm. we might try one out while we're here. Yeah. Um, they're a bit different to the ones in in Pattaya and to Bangkok. Yeah. They look more fortified. Yeah, here maybe comes that's... one now we can, we can show you. First pit stop already for 
about 20 minutes in and um, yeah, she's hot as balls out here. <laughs> yeah. Today it's going to be a top of 40 degrees mm. with um, a little bit of humidity on top of that, but it doesn't seem to um, raise the temperature too much, which is, I guess, pretty good, but still 40 degrees, pretty hot. This isn't the, the high season in Chiang Mai. That is uh, November, December, January mm. is usually the high season. And being here kind of makes sense. It's burning season in Chiang Mai and it's very hot. We're gonna talk about it later on when we've been in Chiang Mai for, you know, about a week, just so we can really give our personal feedback on it. Mm. But uh, so far, based on the what we've experienced, it's not as bad as we were expecting. The PM 2.5 levels here are more than double um, what they are in Bangkok, Chom Tien, Pattaya region. But to be honest, walking around, boots on the ground, <laughs> we're not particularly feeling it. We're definitely not feeling it being double. Yeah. Um, these numbers when we're in Chom Tien, Pattaya, when the numbers were that high there, it was very noticeable. Sarah was getting itchy eyes mm. from the smoke. I had to buy an asthma puffer as well, which I haven't needed since I was 16. For me, I've, I've not really felt it too much. Um, just not as sensitive, but yeah, it's just interesting that um, a lot of people were warning us about coming up here and mm. while it is bad and I think long-term exposure could really do some significant damage, so far, so good. Yeah, it's nothing that we're not used to in Thailand. Like, you can sort of see smog everywhere and it's, yeah, it's, I really don't think it's as bad as what it's made out to be. Yeah, well, the numbers don't lie, but um, mm. just from what we're experiencing, it's, it's not really affecting us um, at all. So yeah. that's a bonus. We were, yeah, as we said, we, know, we knew about burning season, but mm. we really wanted to come to Chiang Mai. We're up in the north and we thought, We'll come across here and if anything we can, you know, shed a bit of light on it, especially mm. for being in the being amongst it. So Yeah, we also have a point of reference too because we have been to Chiang Mai before. We've seen Chiang Mai during the higher season, so we were here in October 2022. I'm not really noticing much of a difference between when we were here a couple of years ago to now. Yeah, yeah, neither am I. Mm. Um, there is obviously a slight haze, but yeah, other than that it's it's manageable for us. We're not choking on the air we breathe, so <laughs> yeah, we'll finish these coffees and uh, carry on. And Chiang Mai as well has so many different side alleys. And yeah, they're really beautiful. Nice and peaceful as well, aside from the car driving right beside us and the two vans ahead. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you want to get off the main road, there's plenty of options to just zigzag through um, in between the main roads and just take your, take your time down these side alleys and see what you can find. This is the Three Kings Monument. It commemorates King Mangrai and his two mates, who were also kings. Um, and King Mangrai was the founder of Chiang Mai. Yeah, this is one of the many tourist attractions located in Chiang Mai. So you care to explain? <laughs> oh my God. I was looking at this sign and I was like, Ahame, what the heck is that? I've never heard of that before. And then my brain went, oh, it's Yamaha. Ooh, <laughs> see what I have to deal with. <laughs> you love it. So there's two people, 50 baht each, 100 baht total to get in. That tree is absolutely massive and it's just in the middle of um, Chiang Mai. It's crazy. So 
this part of the temple here that I'm standing out the front of um, is men only. And I was just reading the reason why it's men only is because women menstruate and it's considered dirty, if that makes sense. So they're not allowed in. Yeah, that was amazing in there. I just took a little footage with the phone. Um, the intricacy and the, the paintings on the wall with some gold intertwined into the um, into the paintings. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. And it was cool as in there too. One single fan running, but it was probably like 10 degrees cooler in there than it was out here. So yeah, yeah pays Can't to be a man. Can't wait to see the footage. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So this is the main attraction of this Chetty... What Chetty Luang? What Chetty Luang? Chetty what? <laughs> 1738. 1738. <laughs> to be honest, it looks like it could be one of, if not the tallest structures in the old town of Chiang Mai, which is pretty pretty amazing. Mm. Um, being made of stone and from uh, so, so long ago. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing and the, the Naga I think they're supposed to be Naga that are um, mm. at the bottom of the, the stairs, the slopes. Uh, the intricacy on those is amazing. Yeah. Um, the amount of time and effort that would have gone into uh, crafting, crafting those, especially back when they would have been um, would have been made, is yeah that that that's crazy. That would have mm. taken so long. And when you come into temples, what's in? in Chiang Mai or anywhere in Thailand. It can be a great reprieve from the, the noise and the... All the distractions and stuff of the city. You're pretty close to everything. I mean, you're only mm. 50 or so metres from the road, but it just it just gets so quiet. Yeah, and it forces you to just sort of be in the now. Like, you, you're looking at this beautiful temple. You're not walking around thinking about, like, what I'm going to have for lunch or, like, whatever. You're just here admiring the temple and, yes. Yeah, just really nice to come in and appreciate it. We are in the moment, which is yeah, yeah it's, it's it's beautiful. Mm. It's, it's a nice reprieve from from being in the city and all those distractions, all those loud noises. It's a ripper. It's a ripper of a temple, Ricky. Mm. <laughs> So if you're in Chiang Mai and you want to get a good wedding photo, you can't do it there. Just FYI. So just as I say there's no dogs, we find three of them. <laughs> just here at the um, Mung Chat, which we actually did when we were here last time, but it wasn't at this this temple. It was one that was slightly outside of mm. the old town. But uh, the day was run by a Pra KK, and it was yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, we did like a meditation course as well, which was really cool. Different types of meditation: um, walking meditation, moving meditation, mm. and the regular sit down and meditate meditation. Mm. <laughs> and also learn more about uh, Buddhism and uh, yeah, how it's more of a philosophy as opposed to a religion from the words of Prak AK. So yeah, if you're in Chiang Mai, we um, highly recommend doing it. You can do a half day, full day, you can do, I think they have overnight, so you know, mm. two days, one night, but yeah, it's, um, it's valuable insight, especially in this country where Buddhism is the main religion. Here's a bit of trivia for you. If you didn't know already, Chang means uh, elephant in Thai. So Chang beer is elephant beer. And yeah, if you see Chang written around, it means elephant. You're welcome. So despite our um, recommendations of eating at local, <laughs> yeah. local restaurants, we're sat down in a, um, a sit down restaurant. We've gone through a couple and just looking at the prices and there's some absolutely ridiculous prices along this stretch of road. Mm. Uh, these ones are a bit more reasonable, you know, 65, 60 baht for like grilled chicken and rice and uh, kalpak gai. 
<laughs> fried chicken fried rice, which is my go-to. Mm. And I just can't be asked um, thinking about what I'd like to eat. That's another thing to consider. Uh, the prices will be higher in the old town as opposed to if you're staying or venturing outside of um, these walls. So, mm. yeah, if you're looking to, you know, save a bit of money, then look for accommodation outside of um, the old town. Yeah. And also going to the local restaurants as well, you're mm -hmm. going to save the money as well. So, yeah, a little, yeah. Uh, little hot tip for you. Yeah, there's a couple that we've eaten at just um, around where we're staying outside of Old Town and they've been absolutely brilliant and the staff and everything have been, um, yeah, just really helpful and friendly. So I couldn't decide what I wanted, so I just got some plain grilled chicken and rice. It's really good. It tastes like smoky, like barbecue flavor. It's yummy. Oh. You already know what it is. <laughs> Cowpack guy, chicken fried rice. I have to make sure that um, I've got to keep them honest, as they say in Australia, you know, keeping them honest. Um, and yeah, call out any bad ones I taste, but this one, once again, it's a nice, a good size, good portion. It's good getting smaller portions so you don't feel obligated to eat it all and um, get a bit fat. <laughs> but with all the walking we're doing in this heat, um, I think I could eat a whole pizza and uh, not gain any weight. But I might throw up. And that's super hot. <laughs> but it's delicious as well. Not quite at the level of yesterday's at the local restaurant, but very close. So we have had our lunch and yeah, it was good. It's good, good price. 180 bar total, two drinks, so nothing to be upset about food was good as well I'm surprised at how good it was considering it was a um like a restaurant <laughs> we're heading down uh, some of these side alleys snaking our way back uh, back to our room we've been out for you know, three or four hours and um did we mention it's hot <laughs> let me just have a quick look for you guys just a lazy 39 degrees <laughs> uh feels like 40 thanks to the humidity so yeah 40 degrees out here um and it feels it but Definitely. yeah yeah but uh you know that's that's it's the temperatures of this time of year i think they're a bit bit warmer i think there's a slight slight heat wave happening at the moment but uh regardless it's it's going to be hot this time of year so for sure we wouldn't be proper aussies too if we didn't constantly complain about how hot it is so that's it you we're, know? <laughs> we're trying to really um really bring in the the not only the aussie but also the british market um, because I know you Poms love to complain about the weather as well. <laughs> Me having lived there for three or four years in total, I know all about that. So I can, um, yeah, I can definitely appreciate that. But um, yeah, regardless, it's hot. Bit of reprieve uh, through these alleyways with some trees. Ooh, abandoned. So green, eh? It is, eh? It's lush. Yeah, yeah. these alleyways, we said, these are really nice to go down. The first one we went down after I just said, oh, how lovely these alleys are, was <laughs> not very nice. But uh, we've seemed to have found a good one, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, just snaking through these alleys, getting off the main road. Not as hot, and um, yeah, you can see some pretty cool stuff. Really appreciate some local houses, local guest houses, and just see all the different types of architecture that they have here types of buildings a lot of these wooden ones not sure if they're made from teak but um, they're absolutely gorgeous to look at so yeah as I said it's a visual feast Chiang Mai and if you don't know what that is it's durian. It's durian. <laughs> just growing in this alleyway. Yeah, I've never seen it growing in the wild before, so it's pretty cool, but... Um... If you know durian, you know it's disgusting. Unfortunately, it's banned in our hotel room, so... 2,000 baht fine, yep. so we couldn't even pick one off there and take it back to the hotel room or else they'd probably call the police on us, to be honest. I'm so. off it. <laughs> On the home stretch. Fuck, <laughs> oh, it feels good. Yeah, it does. Good day, good day. As we saw 
probably about 15% of all of Old Town. Probably not even that much. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, there's so much to explore there. So many little alleyways with um, some pretty cool things to see. Restaurants, random temples. stores, yeah. Yeah, temples for days. Chiang Mai holds a, holds a pretty special place in both our hearts. This is the third time I've been here and every single time I come here I'm like, I just feel like my soul is at rest here. It's good. It's definitely some place that I could see myself living um, for a few years and beyond, uh, even without a beach. It's just a beautiful place, um, really walkable. If we're living near or inside of Old Town, yeah, I don't think we need a scooter at all. Mm. But um, yeah, we really enjoy it here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, walkabout, enjoyed seeing some temples seeing us be hot <laughs> um, bit of a smog report um, if you like the video you'd like it and if you liked us or can tolerate us hit the subscribe button and yeah thanks again for joining us and we'll see you in the next video somewhere around about Chiang Mai see ya bye